Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a very, very radical equation. We have the 17th root of 1 plus square root of 1 minus x to the 17th power plus the 17th root of 1 minus the square root of 1 minus x to the 17th power, and that is equal to 2. Okay, so at this point, if you want, you can go ahead and pause the video, try the problem yourself first. Okay, let's take a look. Now, one of the uh, approaches that we use, let's say we, if we had the cube root here, uh, we would probably just cube both sides, right? Or we would use some substitution. Like you can call the first thing A, the second one B, so we get A plus B is equal to 2. So that's a possible approach, right? So we can just go ahead and get started with that. So let's say this is called A and this is called B, and then A plus B is just going to equal 2. Okay, cool. Then what else can we get from here? Well, the 17th root of something is equal to A, so I can... 17 raise both sides to the 17th power uh, that's just going to give me a to the power 17 is equal to 1 plus square root of 1 minus x to the 17th and the same thing for b if i do that i'll be getting this one right then i can just go ahead and add these up and the radicals are going to cancel out and from here i'm going to be getting a to the 17th power plus b to the 17th power is equal to 2. so we kind of get an interesting system from here but if you try to solve it it's it's going to be real painful you know just by algebraic means uh, one of the things you can do is you can substitute replace b with for example 2 minus a but you're going to have to deal with 17th powers okay so that's going to be real complicated but instead of that uh, and we we used this method before uh, you can use inequalities to solve an equation right what type of inequalities uh, are there well, uh, one of the inequalities that we, uh, we use with these types of equations is called Bernoulli's inequality. So Bernoulli's inequality is an interesting one. You can actually look, look it up. Uh, it works for integers as well as numbers that are not integers. So in our case, we're actually going to be dealing with a number greater than negative 1, uh, which is uh, the radical 1 over 17. Uh, so Bernoulli's inequality still hold. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, write it down in the general form. First of all, uh, if uh, we have uh, an expression like this, 1 plus a to the power x, and in this case, you know, a is a positive quantity and x is something greater than negative 1, it just needs to be a real number, then we have that this is less than or equal to 1 plus ax. Obviously, if you replace a with negative a, then you're just going to get uh, something similar, and that's going to look like 1 minus a to the power x is less than or equal to 1 minus ax. Now, this inequality can be proven. That's another point. Maybe we can do that in another video. But let's just go ahead and proceed with this inequality. Now, here's what's nice about it. Uh, I'm going to take my first expression, which I called a earlier, but forget about these uh, a's and b's now. So this is going to be my a now, and the whole thing is going to be 1 plus... I'm going to write it with an exponent because I'm going to be able to use the Bernoulli's inequality and it holds here. So this expression right here, based on the first one, is going to be less than or equal to 1 plus 1 over 17 times the square root of 1 minus x to the power 17. And the second part, because it has a minus sign, I have the same type of relationship, but just with a minus sign, is going to be less than or equal to 1 minus 1 over 17 multiplied by 1 minus x to the power 17. Cool. So what is nice about this is that our expression is actually equal to the sum of these two. And we know that it's equal to 2. So we're going to go ahead and add these two inequalities. Okay? Let's go ahead and add these up. You know that uh, two inequalities can be added side by side. So from here, we're going to be getting 1 plus the square root of 1 minus x to the 17th power, that to the power 1 over 17, plus the minus version, 1 minus 1 minus square root of 1 minus x to the power 17, that to the power 1 over 17, is less than or equal to. Now, something nice that happens here, and when you add these two, the radical terms cancel out, leaving us with a nice number, which is 2, right? Okay, for many reasons, 2 is a nice number. It's the smallest prime, it's the only even prime, so on and so forth. But anyways, besides that, uh, 2 is good because... As you know, in our original equation, which was an equation, right? This is an inequality. Our expression is equal to 2, but 
Bernoulli says it's less than equal to two, meaning that it actually needs to, okay, when does uh, this inequality become an equation, right? When, when these terms are equal, okay. So it basically means that these two terms are equal. In other words, this expression needs to be zero, okay? In order for these two terms to be equal, it just basically, so our conclusion was, okay, because it needs to be less than or equal to two and two at the same time, that means this expression needs to equal the other expression. And of course, we know that uh, one is gonna cancel out here, leaving us with the radical. If you put everything on the same side, you'll get it equal to zero. So this whole thing needs to equal zero. Now the rest is pretty easy, right? But let's go ahead and finish it up for the sake of completeness. So the radical is equal to zero. What does that mean? Well, it needs to be zero itself. So one minus x to the 17th power needs to equal zero, meaning that x to the 17th power is equal to zero. And now what is that supposed to mean? I'm sorry, <laughs> I messed up. It's supposed to equal to one, not zero. What am I talking about? Okay, this needs to be equal one. So what does it mean for something, the 17th power of something is equal to one, then it needs to be one, right? So x equals one is actually the only solution to this inequality. Oh, did I say inequality? Nope, it is the equation. So the solution to our equation, which was given by this, is x equals one. We use Bernoulli's inequality to solve it, to find an upper bound for the sum. Okay, thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.